Hi guys, welcome back. I'm John and this is Unique Wargaming Terrain. Hope everyone had a good Christmas, COVID considering. Um, the last video, or the video before, I sent you to keep hold of these lovely things. Now, what are these you're going to say if you're watching this for the first time? These are the bits that you get twisted around the electrical wires. Yeah, they when you get gifts or kids toys have them wrapped around certain parts of it. Now, I said to keep hold of these. I'm going to use this in this video to turn this into a piece of barbed wire for 40k. And the way I'm going to do it is so simple. I've got a barbecue skewer here. I may not even use it. I'm, I'm showing you now, but I may not even use it. But the aim is to use this with some sprue and this. So first thing I'm going to do, I've got a bit of weatherboard. I'm going to cut um, a shape and bevel it and give it a little sand down ready to ready to go. Um, and then I'll join you back after that. So sit back. If you're new to the channel, actually, first of all, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, subscribe, share, notifications and like it. If you're a regular here, welcome back, guys. Um, get back, get ready for a, a good year, a good, good year in terrain making. I will be showing you very soon. Also, I'm going to be using the the secret material, the you know Project X material. I think I mentioned it a few times in the first sort of tough videos, and I'm going to show you what I, what it is and what I do with it, and you're going to go, wow, oh, that's amazing. But from the minute we're going to get on with this, so sit back, enjoy, and I see you in a second. Right, guys. So what I've done is I've got three bits of sprue, okay, roughly the same length and another three bits of sprue, roughly the same length. And what I'm going to do, I've cleaned them up and got the, the little marks off them, like, you know, 1995 and all that business. I'm going to glue them together and try and make them freestanding, okay? In like a sort of triangular formation, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this bad boy, which I've cut to, to a bit smaller than the length of the base, and I'm going to glue it in between them. And I'm going to use this as the basis to wrap um, this wire around. Now this wire is uh, floral wire, I believe it's called. What they use it for is the, the oasis. And they put this in and then they put the flowers on top and everything else. But this is perfect for going around here. And it's I can snip it with the snippers as well. And then I'm going to use this plastic to make the barbed wire. So... I'm going to glue this back, glue these together first. Okay, and then I'll come back to you before I glue it to the base. Okay. All right, guys, so they're done, as you can see. Now, all I've done here is I've got a wire. I sort of twisted it around a little bit. And then the same on the stick. Okay, so I'm going to have one on top and one underneath. Okay. Now, all I've done with these little fiddly yokes. It slips them down. What I do then is I wrap it around. Just let you wrap it around. One side, wrap it around the other side. So it sort of just twists around. Like that. As you, well, there we are. As you can see, it's loose, yeah? So what I do is I move to a one, two. Super glue. Don't put super glue on it. And then just push it to the bit I want it to, and it'll stay there. Okay. Do the next one. Now you can make these these lengths as long as you want or as short as you want. So I've just done a, a couple of different lengths. Looks about actually pick up the piece, doesn't it? Twist it around. This is such a simple thing to do. As most things on my channel are very simple. And you're not wasting anything because normally this would be thrown away. It doesn't matter if it's not perfectly on there because it's, that gives you more character and definition. So I'm going to focus in. Okay, you can see the spikes on it. 
of course, it's a little bit hard to see at the moment because it's, it's dark. But once it's had a little bit of silver on it, it's going to look fantastic. Now, another one in this one. And then I'm going to... So simple. I see this little one has a toy, and I was like, well, actually, that little twisty thing would be perfect for barbed wire. So I'm going to do the same on this one because you don't need to see me clip it and do it again. I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm then going to glue these, yeah, sprue nice and easy to the base, okay, and then glue this onto it. And we'll go from there. But I'll be back to you in a second. And here we have it, guys. Now, it's got no colour on it. As you can still see, the super glue is still wet. So I have to leave it to dry. Now, you can fill and mix the base. I'm not going to do that. I'm actually going to PVA glue it and then cover it in the ash from the fire. Now, let's get a better look at this. You see all the little black bit? There we go. It's focusing nice. Yeah. So what I need to do is wait for it to dry, the glue to dry, and then I can actually start putting some paint on there but at the moment it looks like what the hell's that but you'll see when it's finished guys as always see you in a sec i'll come outside i've primed it as you can see it's looking good guys then leave it to dry now and once it's dried we give it some paint so see you in a bit right and here we have it guys as you can see let's get close so you can see the nice bit of focus on it see the barbed wire bits Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to whack some silver paint onto it. A nice little I'm not going to be shy, I'm just going to whack the silver paint on. Now the aim is I've got some, um, sorry, some being copper as well and that's going to be used to dry brush it, okay? So I want it to look as rustic as I can. It's been sitting on the back for a little while. And my plan is I'm going to beat and copper dry brush the actual barbed wire bits itself, just so it stands really stands out. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do one of them, and then I'll show you that done, and then I'll uh, go off camera, finish the rest of it off, and then just put it to the end, and so you can see pretty pictures of it. So, very, very simple piece of terrain. You guys know me, I, I like doing simple things. I see something and I go, actually, yeah, let me make that into something really nice. That could be used for this or used for that. You know, it's, I try to get things that are not, you know, you wouldn't normally look at it and go, oh, I can use that for a piece of terrain. It's something that's really weird and like, oh, you know, it's just, that's, that's the way my brain works, unfortunately. I've got a bigger brush. Use this far ass little brush. If there are, there's where we are so far. I should have set the light up actually, boom the light onto it. So, okay, I'll do that for the pretty pictures. Put water on that, pull that down a little bit.
Right. There we are. Okay, I don't know if you can see that too well. So if I have my hand out, you can see the bar by bits. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go off camera, I'm going to finish doing the silver on it, and then I'm going to dry brush it with a little bit of this, and I'll come back to you and show you some pretty pictures. See you in a second, guys. Okay, guys, you see it? I put a little bit of white foam behind it so to reflect the light so you can see it a bit better. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to PVA glue the base, okay, and put some ash from the fire onto it. So I'm going to need to move this out of the way. It's giving you a better... Actually, it looks better like that without the white ball. Oh, well. <laughs> This, this shit happens. So, cut the plimps underneath. Okay. I'll put it sideways so you can see. No, it's it that way. Let's take a quick shake up. And of course, the cup. I don't have a low stick at hand. I do. Let's put some PVA glue on there. Oh, yeah, bastard. Too much. Going everywhere. Okay. Spread this out as much as I can. Mix this up quickly. A good thing with this because it's uh, undercoated black in the base now if i come to um put the ash on and i miss a bit it's not going to look too bad because it's black underneath so it's going to really stand out but i want to try and get in as much as possible and one other thing i did that i just just remember to mention when i super glued it to the base okay the point of contact from the sprues it's stuck to the base fine I just didn't like the way it looked, so it didn't look strong enough for me. So I just gave it a blob of hot glue all the way around, just on the points of contact. And then, um, yeah, just left it dry and then just carried on with the piece. So it did stick. So if you're just using super glue, you don't have a hot glue gun. You know, it, it did stick, but it's just not, it wasn't, it didn't look strong enough for me. So I just said, no, let me just put a bit of hot glue there. Yeah, let's move this over. Right, so I've got my ashes from the fire. Yeah. Let's get rid of these big coal pieces for a minute. Why do I keep these big coal pieces in there? If I'm making a, a big build, and I want some stony bits, there we go. But it's also to, to break up, to help break up the bits in there and keep them broken up. And every time it's moved around, it shakes it a little bit and just messes it up a little bit. Right, so let's go for the really powdery stuff. Sprinkle it on there. Now, if you don't have a fire at home or a burner at home or anything like that, and you're thinking, oh, how can I do that same thing? You can get sand, you can get a bit of um, tile grout and do the same thing. Now, one thing you're going to notice when you're doing this, you'll get to the point where you can't get any more in between the bits. And how do you how do you cover the whole piece? What you do is you pile up one side, okay, with the finest pieces that you can. I'll show you what we do now. What you do then is you get the piece, okay, and you tip it. Give it a little shake, a little tap. And what this does is I brush it all down the piece, okay. Not only will you get rid of any excess but also it just moves it around without you having to mess around with it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sweep up what I can off the, off the newspaper and push it back on. Well, not to push it back on, but sprinkle it back on. 
I actually love this technique. I actually saw um, Ollie from Broadsword Wargaming do this first with the Ash from the Fire on his trench build that he done for his, uh, I think it was Kill Team board. Absolutely such a clever idea. So thank you, Ollie, for that clever idea. Not only does this save money, which is, you know, as as uh, wargamers, we want to save money making terrain because then more money saved means more models bought, more paint, more glue, etc. So, there we have it. There, you see bits are falling off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand it up, look my my little plimps, okay, and then I'm going to go to, I'm going to give you a pretty picture, guys, okay. So, see you in a sec. Right, and here we have it, guys. See how lovely that looks. That's so simple. Now, the only thing I've got left to do on that now is to spray it down with some sealant, some uh, water down PVA glue. And, like, it might have two coats across the ash because it's, you know, it will need to set. Now, when I do that, if the board warps a little bit, Simple answer is you flip it over, you cover the other, you like butter the other side of it in PVA glue, leave it to dry, and it will it will tighten it back up. Now, simple, so simple. Now, see you in a second, guys. Right there we have it, guys. That's so so simple. I'm looking at myself a little bit pale in the face. That's the new light. Just you know, one problem I had was not enough light in here. Certain times of day it's fine, but night time it's not um so if you like this video like share subscribe please turn your notifications um the next video i'm going to make i mentioned it the secret material it's expanding foam now don't go oh i've seen everything to do with expanding foam the only videos i've seen on expanding foam is blah 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 heels done what i do is absolutely insane I do a lot of things different, which I'm going to show you in the next video. I'm going to, that's what I'm going to go for. And I'm going to show you some of the crazy things you can do with it. Anyway, so please hit the buttons for me. Happy New Year to everyone. And until next time, see you later.